Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Cynthia. Um, today I am going to show you how to get beach wave curls. Um, what you're gonna need is a curling iron. Um, I'm not sure what size barrel this is. I know it's just more, not the small one. There's a smaller one, and then this is the medium one. So about a medium sized barrel uh, curling iron. You're going to need um, volumizing hairspray. I use Not Your Mother's. She's a tease volumizing hairspray infused with apple blossom and bamboo. I wore this, I curled my hair last weekend and it was raining super hard and my hair didn't die at all. It stayed the same all day long. So that's extremely nice and plus it's on the cheap side so I recommend that. I do not have a high-end hairspray that I recommend. But anyways, let's jump in this. So I already combed out my hair and the best, best part about doing beach waves with a regular curling wand is that you don't have to section it off and you can work with the curls that you already have. But if you want like every single strand done, you're gonna wanna part it. But that's not how I do my uh, beach waves because beach waves is more supposed to look more natural instead of like the pipe curls and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll show you guys. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is grab a chunk about so, about this much, I'd say about a half an inch, a little bit over half an inch. And what I like to do is I turn it away from my face like so, so that way it's flipping back. But like as more as you can go back, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna just start off by doing this. You wanna try to avoid doing pipe curl action, you want to do like that, where you keep it clumped up and not loose. Just let it hold for a couple seconds. I usually keep my finger on a strand of hair so that way I know if, tell if it's too hot and so my hair does not get damaged. All right, and that is that for that strand. And there you go. This is our first strand of our beach waves. It's it's nice and simple. It doesn't have too much curl. It just has a wave. And let that cool. And usually afterwards when I'm done, I just like fluff it up. And then I'll spray it, but I like to do a big chunk and then I'll do that and do a nice little spray. I like to do these in bigger chunks and not thin chunks because if I do it like there's smaller pieces I feel like they just don't go together they don't blend together I just try to keep it the same size all the way around so that way it just blends nicer and you have don't you don't have different sizes And also, I would recommend, sorry if you can't see my face, I would recommend before you do this, after you get out of the shower, to put some kind of heat protectant in your hair. Not only will it help keep the hold, it will also help your hair from damage, especially if you style and do your hair a lot.
Alrighty, and this is the finished look. Simple, easy beach wave curls. Gives me some nice summer vibes. It's easy, quick. It literally took me 20 minutes to do. It it's just so easy and it makes it more manageable and it's still cute if you have to throw it up in a ponytail or if you were to do like a crown braid it'd be just so darn cute no matter what it just gives your hair a little bit of more texture it gives your hair more style it's just a little bit easier so i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's very very short but I just had to share my secret on how I get my beach wave curls. I know you guys see some of it in my photos that I post on Instagram and uh, Snapchat. So this is how I get my beach wave curls and it's so easy, it's so simple and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!